Welcome to the red carpet re-up. You can double your excitement in half the time. And the crazy thing is, this insight could change the way you see hip hop feuds forever with zero fluff involved. Stick around until the end to discover the undercurrents that could redefine these rap battles. Today, we're diving deep into the heated rap battle that's currently setting the hip hop world on fire. Kendrick Lamar recently released his diss track, Euphoria, aimed at none other than Drake. However, not everyone was impressed by this release, including Harlem rappers Cameron and Mace, who openly critiqued the track on their show, It Is What It Is. Cameron and Mace, both seasoned in the art and impact of rap disses from their heyday, shared their thoughts on why Kendrick's track didn't quite hit the mark, especially compared to Drake's responses, push-ups, and tailor-made freestyle. According to Mace, Drake is definitely winning from an MC standpoint. And this sentiment was echoed by Cameron, who felt that the song was overly long and its impact diluted by the delay in its release. In the realm of rap battles, timing and punchy content are crucial. Cameron highlighted how immediate releases in response to disses, like his own track Curtis against 50 Cent, carry a certain weight and expectation. The anticipation for a sharp, hard-hitting reply is a staple in these feuds. So, I was listening to Euphoria today, maybe put on the green soup. How you felt about that? <laughs> oh, man. It, it was interesting. It was interesting. Did you like it? Um, I thought it was cool. Who's winning? How about that? That's a better question. <laughs> Who's winning the battle to you right now? Oh, man. Um, Drake is definitely winning from, from an MC standpoint, you know. It, it took a while for him to get, for us to get the record from Kendrick. And when you wait a while, it gotta be, it gotta be like out of this world. I yeah. think if Kendrick dropped this record right after dropping Gimme 50, it would have been crazy. But uh, like immediate, not yeah, waiting. If this it was long. immediate, yeah. then it would have been crazy. But we waited been a couple a while. weeks, been a couple few weeks. Yeah, they, to get this pause. I don't know, man. What do you think? I'm going I think Drake is winning. Euphoria didn't really uh didn't, it didn't really move me. I'm not saying because I you know why I'm expecting lyrics from Kendrick Lamar. It isn't like I'm not saying yeah. he's in the lyricist, so you're expecting certain things and song was kinda long, took too long to came out, pause. Um and I, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just if you actually yeah, it was it was a good it was yeah. a good record. It was a good record, but it was a good record that we waited a while for. We didn't wait a while for a good record. Sometimes if you wait, you still could pop off. <laughs> the Oracle came out two years <laughs> later. Four years later. <laughs> Shit was hot. Kendrick's track, while good, seemed to have missed that urgency, which is a crucial element in the dynamics of rap battles. This conversation then led to an analysis of the nature of rap battles today compared to the past. Cameron remarked on the lack of real danger and high stakes in current feuds, which contrasts sharply with the past where rap disses often had the potential to escalate beyond verbal spats to actual physical confrontations. The dangerous edge that once underscored these conflicts seems muted today, which may affect how the audience, particularly older hip hop fans, perceive these battles. Furthermore, Drake's reaction to euphoria adds another layer to this ongoing feud. Opting for a humorous and somewhat dismissive approach, Drake shared a clip from the movie, 10 Things I Hate About You, to troll Kendrick, highlighting a playful yet competitive aspect of modern rap battles. This move by Drake, coupled with insider teases about more fiery responses to come, suggests that this battle is far from over. As we dissect these interactions, and the public's reaction to them, it's essential to understand the implications for both artists and the broader hip hop community. How do these exchanges shape their careers? What does it say about the evolution of rap feuds? And most importantly, what can we expect next in this high stakes lyrical warfare? The current landscape of rap battles may seem less perilous, but it is no less competitive. As we've explored the nuances and tactics of Kendrick and Drake, it's clear that the art of the diss track is evolving, 
blending old school aggression with modern day media savviness. If you found this breakdown insightful and want to keep up with all the twists and turns of this rap battle and more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, comment your thoughts below, and turn on post notifications so you never miss out on any exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup.